Uh, help desk, I need shield, unfortunately. Well, and we're live. Um, hey! So hey! <laughs> the final session of the um, fifth game jam. Fifth Frankfurt Winter Game Jam of 2021. Yes. And I hear myself doubled, and I have no idea why. I don't hear you double. I might just have the stream somewhere on. Um, but we're at zero visitors right now, so. Okay. Ah, there it is. Yeah, found it and closed, and we're good to go. Ah, okay. Then let's announce the. Uh, People are obviously still in crunch time. Um, <laughs> yeah, obviously. As always, I cannot blame them. My team itself is also still on crunch, so... Oh, but we have 25 entries. We have 24 entries. Um, one of them is a previous game. Hello, Vede. Uh, one of them is a previous game that we will hey. not cover here because they just added uh, an existing game to the game jam so okay uh we can't hear you yeah no your audio is <laughs> is not good we have okay. 20 it, it, it's not just right now. Me okay. has the robot no 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 Vida is a robot and i'm gonna remove him for a while that was not even a robot <laughs> <laughs> that sounded uh, like yeah, an 80s moment or something. Out bench. Damn, oh, bro, bro. Still, can somebody please put the link in the announcement channel um, to the to the Twitch chat? That would be awesome. Yeah, on it. Great. Um, still waiting for people to drop in, and I'm um, gonna. Check if Veda is ready. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we still. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Two more text messages. Yeah, so I'm still getting messages on who wants to present, so. Bear with me that it will take a couple of more minutes. Um, so, we have 14 people um, online watching. I think we should maybe wait five more minutes or something. Yeah, let's just see what we do. Um, the message for the stream is out. Uh, okay. Okay. Does this work now? Yes. Yes. No more, Mr. Robot. Oh, great! Uh, that, that was was a fun thing, you know. I joined. I accidentally joined the streamyard twice, and that that what what that what that what's happening. Yeah, all hey. these technical things. Okay. Um... <laughs> Don't use Linux. You had better luck than me. I joined the stream yard and blue screened like two minutes afterwards. <laughs> um, and we all, all also know. But we are already ten past. Always... Uh, we're already ten past, so I'd say let's start with um, actually presenting the first couple of games. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have my list here of people who wanted to present. And I'm going to send out the first invitation right now. So 
before we started, um, I don't know if you clarified already, but if people did not submit until now, I'm very sorry. No, you can, you can DM me if you did not, and we can sort it out. But you know, once once we're through with the presentations, you you're out of luck. What do you have to do if you want to present? Send me a DM on Discord. Um, then I'll send you the link once it's your turn. You can distribute that link uh, with your team uh, so that you can all present. No worries. Maybe also mention what game or group you, you uh, yes, did tell me, so, so we don't have double uh, entries. Yes, tell me, uh, tell me the, the game name and I'll just send someone of the game. Then. OK. Um, the first invitation is out. Lubber, are you here? If you are in chat, please confirm that you've seen the message. Otherwise, I'm just going to go with the next team. Obviously, you can. You still have the chance later. Um, they're coming. Um, you here? Could you join the uh, stream yet then, real quick? Ah, okay, I see. Awesome. I'm gonna send out the the next link in a second. Oh, now people. Okay, okay, awesome. Hello. 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 Feel free to share your game and also feel free to tell us about it. You have five minutes. Okay. One second. And Come just... on, we only have five minutes. Four and a half. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no. Pass. <laughs> so uh, we made a game. We made it in, in, in Unity, as, as you can see. And now we're trying to, to start the game. All right. Don't, don't waste any of our precious streaming time. <laughs> a uh, puzzle game. We already showed it a bit yesterday. And it starts with a tutorial. Um, you can switch the camera from a player view to a uh, scene view or level view. And I'm just going to um, play the tutorial. And then you can pick up abilities. My mouse just disconnected. It's a very nice um, uh And then you can pretend to be a game journalist and don't make a jump dash. Wrap it up there. And uh, the third ability is the size changer. So we can uh, change our size, but now we're too small. We can't uh, activate the pressure plate and the door is closed. So we change our size to the biggest one and then we are enough. And we can wall jump and die. <laughs> In the tutorial. Can only the blue one wall jump? Uh, no, every, everyone can wall jump. Uh -huh. uh, the only thing that is limited to colors is uh, what, what's marked to colors. So uh, okay. only the green one can interact with the green grapple tiles, and the blue one can activate, uh, activate the pressure plates. Uh, actually, everyone can activate the pressure plates, but you need to have the right size, and for that, you need to be the blue one. Uh, so this is our first level. It's going to spoil the game real quick because uh, what else to do? Um, <laughs> you need to dash through here and then not get killed by the spikes. Go through here, pick up the green box and up, and then grapple over here. And Make it through. Uh, the game originally was supposed to have uh, three levels, but sadly we lost the best one uh, in the heat of uh, making the upload. So hey, Uni Unity uh, collab is not very um, friendly when it comes to merge conflicts. <laughs> mm. 
I seem to have forgotten my um uh my own puzzle design. <laughs> Um, you yeah. Have to make it so. I think yeah. Clear. Can you even make that jump down there? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, it's oh yeah, it small is small. small. Right. Yeah, that's. Uh, it, should, it should be a hard game, right? Otherwise, where's the fun? Yeah, otherwise, uh, people could actually finish it. Yeah. And that's not what you want as a game developer. And then they would uh, uh, uncover the, the big secret that we only have a few levels. So if you can't make the second level, you just blame yourself. But if you make it and the game is over, they will blame us. Yeah, that's true. The arcade strategy, just make it hard. Yeah. Okay. That is actually how some NES developers uh, yeah, stretched their game by just making one level impossible. So players would yeah, play over and over one final level oh. or just Oh you can't pass the final level and then they already had. Oh, that's not even the hard part. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a question in chat. Yes. Uh, we have people. All three people we in have three, group, only, three people. Only. And you, you might be able to tell we did not have a dedicated artist. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's the traditional developer art style, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. actually. Yeah. We, Someday we, we replace it with fine assets, but not today. <laughs> also, we use the topic as an excuse to uh, to make box art. So that's just it. what's in the box. The game, <laughs> okay. guys. Um, yep. I love your game. I would love to talk to you more about it. But we have okay. over ten games that we want to go through here, and we don't want to have a another four-hour streaming session like last time because sadly <laughs> people dropped <laughs> out at the end and. Some right. people didn't get the chance to properly present. So thanks a lot. Um, and, and everyone, um, this game, you can play it on the HIO page, or you can get it via the HIO game jam page. Uh, try it out for yourselves. Um, I think they can't, uh, put, they can't, can't post the link in Twitch chat, right? Should we do it? Uh, it's on uh, the it's... Blue Jam under submissions. Okay. So you, okay. you find every game. It's called the box. So, what was your game called again? The, uh, box. the box. Yes. Uh, Good. So for everyone who want to check out the game, the box in the submission list. All right. Okay. Thank you for having See us. You around. Okay. Bye. Bye. Very good. Cool stuff. Reminds me of one of our games we made. Like <laughs> the, with the art style, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But they came I up know. with the idea on their own. Did you, so. did you just copy copy the old no. assets? Uh, the blocks. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I invite the next group. Please uh, check Discord if you want to present. Um, I'm going to send you the links one by one. So, um, Alexei, if you're here, I send you a link. Um, doesn't seem to be the case. Yes, there's someone here. Hello. Hello. Are Hello. you with Alexei? Hello. We are waiting for Alexei. Ah, okay, yeah, there. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey. Ah, okay, yeah, there. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey. Ah, okay, yeah, there. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, me too. Me too. I so think you've got text. some. Yeah, some. Could you turn down the bridge, please? Yeah. Got some. Yeah, some. Could you turn down the bridge, please? Yeah. Oh, you said it twice, huh? <laughs> awesome. Let's say close, close the tab of the stream, the second one. Or just mute it on the top. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I guess not now it should be okay. I close the stream and. Uh, Took my headphones. Awesome. Sorry. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's start with our game. Let me share uh, just the screen, I guess. Share screen. Yes. Don't forget to check audio if you want to have audio. Yes. Allow audio. Share. And there we are. Nice. Nice. We actually made a couple of slides, but I believe the time is very limited, so let's not focus on them too much. This is basically uh, the summarize of our pitch, the story. You play as a Peter, uh, Border Patrol agent, and the goal of the game and your job is to pass or reject boxes based on their appearance. 
and at your disposal you have a scanner but you have only a limited time of scans each day so you basically have three different bu buttons reject uh, scan and pass uh, let's not stop on this slide a lot this is screenshots but i will show you the actual gameplay a little bit later some reference games uh, uh, we will take keeping in, in mind paper papers, please, and behold uh, as an inspiration. And uh, some words about our awesome team. Uh, Hannes was doing uh, all the coding. He was our technical magician. Noel uh, was doing visuals and assets. Veronica uh, made audio and a game page on each I/O. And I uh, designed mechanics and put up this very short presentation. And let's, let's jump go straight into, to the game. Yeah, into the game. Here it is. Can you see the yeah, browser can. page? Yeah. Nice. Let's run it. Can you hide the panel? Yeah, you can do full screen and then it's easier. Full screen. The blue button under your game. Blue button under ah, see it. Yes, nice. <laughs> Thanks. So let's play a bit. So the Boxes red button is in. to cancel the package, the yellow one is yeah. to scan it, it, and the green one is to pass Yeah, it. this package looks okay, so let's just pass it. This is kind of funky, let's scan it. Oh, there is a bomb in it, let's reject it. <laughs> let's just try to reject this box. Let's scan this box. Oh, it's also a bomb. What a day. Let's scan this, also a box, whoa! This is a dangerous job. Try, try, to, try to pass the dangerous one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's check it. Let's just oh, pass no. the bomb. Let's try it. <laughs> Missed. Yeah, it's a casual bomb. No, let's, let's reject this one. And I guess that's it for the gameplay, basically. Uh, we have an objective for each day, different object, uh, objectives. The objective for this day is do not miss more than four boxes. And uh, we have different parameters that are changing constantly on the right side of the screen. How much scans uh, we're left with, how much uh, caught boxes and how much, how much boxes were missed. And <laughs> that's basically it for our game. And also, oh, yeah. Peter initially initially was a, a human, but we decided to stick to at least one diversifier <laughs> and make it a kind of a game bird relative, let's say. <laughs> yeah, we it were planning great. to add more yeah. objects to the sticky note, but we were very limited in time, so it's a real prototype. Yeah, you don't need to excuse yourself. Everybody had... I assume a little bit less time than he would like to have, but it looks really nice. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. <laughs> His name is Peter Bird. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I have, a thanks. I, have a, I have a strong suspicion that packages with the do not open label on it are very <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Well, uh, well, ac actually, actually, each box has uh, its unique changes or ch 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 chances to uh, of dropping different uh, items. And sometimes, do not open boxes contain uh, friendly insights. For example, sometimes there is a bomb, and sometimes there is a game bird figurine. Just and oh. it's vice versa. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it works both ways. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's we like need to a work on roulette. the probability chances or the yeah. insight. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the game. It it looks really fun. It's very cute. Like very yeah. very cute clicker game. I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys for great Thank feedback. You. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna send out the next links. I should send out links more quickly. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. Um, <sighs> Don't stress yourself. We have already spent 48 hours on the jam. One or two more aren't that much. Okay. Send out the next link. Uh, so. 
Right. Stay hydrated, guys. <laughs> so you could quickly confirm, Okaime, that you got the link. That would be great. Doesn't appear, so let's go next game. Odewin, your turn. Oh, okay. Never mind, Okami is coming, sorry. Odewin, you're right afterwards. At least I sent out the link early. Um, okay. okay. Yes, they get, got the link. Definitely got it, confirmed it. So, yes, o awesome. Hello. 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 Hi, guys. I, I'm uh, we're just uh, muting the live, so don't have echo. Uh, we don't we didn't make a, a presentation <laughs> like no the, problem the last group, don't have to. But we i will be sharing my screen in the game in a second uh are you guys seeing right now the, my screen? Yes. Um, <laughs> no, we see you. <laughs> yes. That's, that's the screen. <laughs> now we see your screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, our game is called Box Mayhem, and it's a pretty chaotic experience <laughs> as you work in this uh, Azamon company, and you have to receive the orders from the clients. You go to the the panel in the right corner and you pick up the products put it in a box and then just wait for the client to come pick it up uh i'm going to play a little bit let me just uh, load the film a bit you are basically this this sympathetic robot worker the computer shots uh alert when you get a order so this one wants these two objects. So we have to just go here, click here, search for it, this one, and this one, close the box and put it here. Pretty simple, but uh, the game as it as you are playing, it keeps getting faster and more clients coming. But uh, it's not just make the packages in order because it's not always that the first client who made the first order will show up first, then the second. So you have to be careful on who ordered what and which box is the right one. We basically use uh, Game Maker to make it. Okay. And that's basically it. It's, it will get getting harder as you play. Also, the the order and the in the items here are random. So if you pass one, you have to keep going until you find it again. What happens if you put in the wrong items? Does your rage meter go up? Uh, basically, like if you put this wrong, you can press here to get a new box. <laughs> the the one the old one just explodes, and you can get a new one empty. It keeps uh, it some it in in a point in the game it gets really chaotic as so many orders get here and so many clients 
and the our our little guy here, the protagonist, his face is when you're about to lose it, turns it into this. So you know when you're about to to get fired from your job. And that's basically it. Yeah, and the box do not always have like two items. It can have three items, four items, or such. Yeah, two to five, two to four items. Yeah. Okay. I like the art style. <laughs> yeah, the the art style is just the it's inconsistent. That's the pattern of the horror game. It's like three D pixel art and two D sprites. Yeah, but it's absurd enough to again be kind of coherent. I think. Yeah, thank you. I did the the art in general, the visual part, and my friend uh, made the code. It's a really cool idea. Um, did you? How did you come up with uh, the, the the rage bar? Like the name for it. <laughs> It, this one uh, was basically a last time idea because we we thought how do you lose the game, <laughs> so we made a, like the patience of the the patience of the the clients keep getting lower, uh, and you uh, if you take a long time to deliver the box or give the wrong box with the wrong products to the client, it, the rage box will get increased. It was more. It sounded more more right to do than the like three lives. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks a lot for presenting. Um, and check out the game on HIO. Thank you. And hello, Will. Do you have our T-shirts? Hi guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not yet, but you, you should ping Matthias. He, I'm, I'm sure he will be happy to give you T-shirts. Yeah, as you can see, our group was working on a, on a T-shirt mo motif. But as a side uh, side outcome, we also made a, a game. So the the game's name is Boxed Away, and it's a Commodore 64 game. So. Uh, we decided let's make an RPG-like game with a lot of story and a lot of uh, graphics uh, in, in a huge world. What could go wrong trying this in, in 48 hours? So uh, yes, the, the usual things uh, went wrong. So for the credits, ah, it's not credits anymore. Okay, anyway, uh, the, the people in the team were uh, Marsha, who worked on, on one part of the world, uh, doing the world design there, the graphics and, and a lot of dialogues actually really stressed the, the dialogue system because uh, uh, she wrote really long and extensive dialogue. So if you like this, uh, be prepared for, especially for the second part of the game. Emu was our bard who made the music. I'm not sure if the music is transmitted. Or... We can't hear any music. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Is music turned off here or is the problem off the screen? Anyway, uh, believe me, Emo made some music. It is there. <laughs> uh, Helmut made the sprites, the sprites you can see. Uh, Vivi uh, was working on the first part of the world, so was uh, Magic Gretel. Uh, uh, Logical was making tools, uh, helping with the graphics, helping with the, uh, with the dialogue system, with everything. And then was me who put the, the, the bugs into the code. So in the game, you are a witch. And by talking to the neighbor here uh, and doing some small talk, it turns out that there is some, some problem because, uh, was it already that she lost her cat in the, in the woods? And then the, uh, I lost my cat. And then the neighbor is uh, telling her, about an odd guy named Schrödinger who might have something to do with it. Let's go now and let's tell me more about Schrödinger first. So, and then she's, ah, this, this guy creeps me out. I don't want to talk uh, about him. But if you talk to her a bit more careful, uh, she gives you some hint where to find Schrödinger. 
which actually makes Schrödinger appear in the first place somewhere in the woods. So probably he was always there. So now Schrödinger is uh, is there and anyway there is a path in the woods which makes it a bit easier to, to find the ways. There is here some path in the woods. Let's talk to the magpie here. It's definitely not Schrödinger. Okay. What would we expect from talking to a bird? Let's try the other path. It's more than obvious that it's possible to go there. And then there is this guy. If we would have gone to this place before talking to the neighbor, uh, it would have been empty. But now the guy here appeared. And let's. He greets us with welcome yourself, conscious thinking, spiritual being. And farewell. It's not interesting. OK, what was the question? What did you ask? Um, are you Schrödinger? Ah, are you Schrödinger? OK. And he is not sure if he is or probably is in a quantum state. Actually, the, the text from Schrödinger are uh, translated sequence or transla translated parts of actual quotes of him. So he really talks this way. So like the illusion of reality, is this not reality? And then he claims that we would be uh, characters in a, in a game of a Commodore 64, or all this that. But we are looking for the cat. Let's get back to the business. And uh, then he starts talking about boxes. And this is a, for example, this is a Schrödinger quote. For those people who like this kind of quotes, they will surely enjoy the game. Others might uh, enjoy the possibility to click over. <laughs> So I'm not sure if there is something more to explore here, but let's explore the world a little bit more. We can also wander off in the woods. This is a, a door that is closed, a gate that is closed. And again, if you like games where you run around and uh, fight and shoot at other people, and so then this is probably not the game of your choice because it's heavily text-based. It's heavily based upon uh, connections between different characters. And you have to run the one character to get one thing and for example, the, the guard is not very helpful here. Uh, OK, thanks for the question. No, actually, I don't know Faith. But I recently uh, had a look at, at uh, the, the games I made so far, and I think I never did ever make any games where you can shoot. It's quite odd or probably not, whatever. So there is uh, are these possibilities. And uh, the problem is you really have to read those in order to uh, trigger the right things, because sometimes you have to get the person in the right mood. And for example, here, asking him for a break. Uh, but you don't want to spoil everything. But you see here, a silver badge uh, was stolen. Uh, do we have any idea where we could find the silver badge? No, <laughs> but I think I'm missing a reference. No, it's not there. But we have been, uh, we have been at different places in the uh, in the forest already, and there was uh, one place where it's likely that that somebody might hide silver and glittery things there. Uh, the crow, you you mean? Yeah, it's a magpie. <laughs> they are. And even stuff. the guard says that, the, that it was a magpie that went off to the woods with it. So it's you very gotta... clear that we would have to go to the magpie. So uh, yeah, regarding, so I think we should not play too much further. Uh, we did not make it in an RPG maker, but it was uh, 
uh, from every piece of code up to the sprites, up to the engine, everything uh, was made by us. Of, uh, so obviously for Commodore 64. And it's for Commodore 64, yes. OK, well, thanks for. Can you, can you yeah? finish the game? Yeah. Is I mean, can you find the cat, actually? Oh, there is a cat in the game, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is a cat in the game or the cat? In I mean, the game? I mean, uh, you, you you certainly have a a, a quest uh, by your neighbor. Uh, can you actually finish it? Uh, yes, there is kind of an uh, ending. Yes. Okay. How about you? How about you go and find out afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably the best way to experience it. I didn't ask how to how, how the ending is, etc. I just wanted to know whether it's actually finishable. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, it looks great. I will definitely check this one out. Thanks, Will. Um, I, I just have to say it's always stunning to see <laughs> see sixty four games for a game gem, and that they actually work and. There's actually a game, so this is really, really stunning. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thanks. it still has lots of bugs, I think. Um, Which game sure doesn't? That, <laughs> uh, that it could use some some uh, uh, some good overhaul, uh, but uh, I think given the time, we are quite fine with what we could achieve here. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. And hello, Karen. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hello. Welcome. You should be able to hear us. Um, yeah. We are already the sharing Huckle the screen. Forest. Yes. Uh, I think my teammates will share the screen. He is. It's not loading properly. Maybe he can reshare. Okay. Yeah. We will wait for that. We will just show through the gameplay, and uh, while showing the gameplay, I will present the game Haku Forest. Okay, let's hope that works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Did he uh, allow in the top? So that the browser can actually access it, because it's Still loading. Hmm. Um, if not, I could just start presenting while we're waiting, uh, if that's OK. Yeah, sure. Please go ahead. All right. Uh, so our game is Hakko Forest. Hope you guys enjoy playing it. Uh, our team are Justina, who did the 3D art and animation, Ahmed, do the programming, Parashtu did the 3D art. Uh, me, Haruki, did the 2D art and narrative, and Anis Arma did the game design and narrative. Um, for the narrative of the game takes place in a poor village of Sog next to Hako Forest. Uh, our main character, Oli Schwartz, a young diligent villager. Uh, he received a letter from a long lost father. Uh, the heartbreaking news of his father passing and the curiosity of the unknown box of fortune lead him to the adventure of going into the Hako Forest. Uh, for the gameplay, uh, our attack uh, avatar can move forward, backward, and jump. Um, there are obstacles and enemies to combat and dodge in the forest. Uh, throwing rocks is a projectile attack that can kill the haunting uh, ghosts. Uh, to solve the puzzles and interact with strangers in the forest, uh, they reveal the backstory about Schwartz's family and the Haku. Uh, our objective of the game is to go through the haunted forest without dying, of course, uh, to solve all the puzzles that is stopping your way, uh, discover the mystery of Haku Forest, and find the Box of Fortune. Um, in the game design, uh, Ollie is modeled and textured in Blender. Uh, some animation were done in Mixamo and some in Unity, uh, while the character control was done in Unity. Uh, the ghosts, talking tree, logs, and cactus are designed and textured in Maya. Uh, the ghost movements was also done in Unity. 
uh, for the in-game mechanics, uh, the ghosts are sometimes looking at you without attacking, just to let you know he's always watching you. Uh, the attack animation only works on a horizontal level to make the game more challenging. Uh, talking about the game challenge, uh, Ahmed. Oh, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we can see a little bit of the game. All right. I hope you can. Yeah, there's the whole animation. Dialogue talking. Nice. Um, all right, let's see. All right, there's the ghost. <laughs> um, okay. Yep, there's some ghosts. If you hit them, they disappear. <laughs> um, and there's many, many enemies <laughs> ahead. So uh, you need to be able to combat against that. And yeah, and I think in the game between there is also more obstacles, yeah. <laughs> Nice. I really like the blend of 3D graphics with 2D background. It looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah, uh, there was uh, puzzles and dialogues uh, through. Um, yeah. <laughs> Even more ghosts. Yeah. Oh, there are the main part. Oh. Yikes. What's happening if you touch the ghost? Uh, you instantly die. So you need to be careful not getting touched. Yeah. And uh, you can pick up this gold right here, and uh, you will see the consequences. <laughs> 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 the ghosts become extremely, extremely fast, and uh, you risk dying. And uh, the game uh, was pretty challenging for us. Uh, Ahmed mentioned that there's too much mechanics can cost many, many bucks. And uh, if something's starting to be time consuming, it's not very good for the game jam. So we need to let it go, let things go, like the main character, Oli. Uh, Justina mentioned that the animation, uh, there are many bugs exploring because there were two separate programs running for the animation with Unity and Mixamo. And also, the intro animation took a really long time, <laughs> since they are done completely in Blender with many elements in the scene. Uh, for me, it's the conceptualizing the idea of box um, beyond the mere object of a box. Um, I, uh, I structure it through the purpose of a box to hold valuables that inspire this fictional world of Hako Forest. Um, Ennis, uh, mentioned that uh, giving the story narration and the game design, you should take more consideration with the time limit and uh, afford it uh, to implement the game mechanics so we can finish the game completely. Uh, Pedestu mentioned the modeling of the face of the tree is really time consuming as well. Uh, yeah, but we managed to uh, finish the entire game from uh, start to finish. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys really enjoy this game. Uh, it was really fun uh, doing all the graphics. And there's some more than just a gameplay. There's some uh, backstory that you could uh, discover or even secrets uh, in the Hako Forest. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Well, thanks. It definitely looks awesome. It's <laughs> I, <laughs> I love the, the effort that you put in into the graphics. It's I just you. wanted to add, uh, I really love the decision to put things in the foreground. I think it really adds depth to the to the overall scene. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> that was uh, our team's idea. It was really... I, I, I have a question. Uh, you mentioned mm -hmm. that you modeled both in Blender and Maya. Uh, yes, uh, from different teammates, yes. It's like a okay. Is, is it because you were more accustomed to those tools, or was there I, a I think so, specific yeah. uh, decision why to use both. It's not a uh, specific. I think it's because we both, uh, our team, use different uh, system and programs to do the 3D animations, mm. uh, or sorry, modeling. So we just uh, combine them together and try and hope our best. It doesn't make any bucks, but it seems working pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And, and uh, yeah, uh, really hope you guys could go through the game and maybe dig a little bit deeper with the story because it's really funny. Uh, Pretty interesting uh, story. But yeah, that would okay. be our game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much for presenting yeah. it. Yeah.
Looks right. great. Thank okay. Um, quick announcement on my side, um, because I absolutely forgot to tell you about the rating. And I've seen that chat was talking about it. I just didn't want to interrupt the game presentations uh, mid, uh, mid presentation. Um, everyone who joined on uh, on the HIO jam can rate the games on uh, the itch page. So feel free to do that. Uh, you will have uh, the the option to select different categories. Please check out the games. Please rate them. Uh, and we might have um, a special thing afterwards for uh, the people who actually give the most constructive feedback. Um, but I think there's going to be a very short announcement at the end of the stream. OK, that's from my end. Uh, next up, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. OK, perfect. Then I will try to share my screen. Yes, that, that'd be cool. Just, uh, find, I just have to find out which one is the right one. OK, this seems the right one. Can you see my screen? Um, give me a second. No. I have to drag in the screen. Yeah. Oh, no, yes. OK, <laughs> perfect. Oh, you, you are the one who created Spirit Box. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my game. So yeah, I worked on it all by myself. I did all the art and level design and everything. And I couldn't manage to do everything I wanted. And yeah, that's a bit sad. I made an intro which I would like to show you first because it didn't make it into the game because it crashed when I tried to put it in. And then I thought, OK, I have no time left. So I will show you the intro now, just so that you can see it. And it, I didn't do it for nothing. And here the text, oh, no, all the spirits got, uh, got out. Please help to get them back. So that's the short intro which would start after I after one clicks on start. So imagine when I click here, there would be the intro, and then we would get here to the game. And the game is uh, very simple. Uh, you can move around with the player, and you have to collect all the spirits which got away. On the left corner, you see that um, that you have to get six spirits. And here is one. You have to catch him, and then he bursts. It's a bit sad, but it was the only thing I could think of, that he will burst when I get to them. And you can move around the level, and you are looking for all the spirits to catch them. I tried to put all my art into the game, which I created. I think some are just on my computer because I had no time. But yeah, that's principle all I wanted to create a, at the end, a surprise in the box, which would then come out. But sadly, I had no time for this. Maybe I will add it at a late, later time. So it, at the end, you will be thanked that you help to get all the spirits. So yeah, that's that's the game. That's everything. And you can just move around and look around and look at my art. <laughs> I must say, I absolutely adore this uh, art style, both both the, the, the tree and uh, tricks, but also the, the different uh, characteristics of the ghosts, that they have so diff <laughs> many different facial expressions. Yeah, I had fun creating them. <laughs> and also Fire Totten games helped me to make my player a bit nicer so that it also looks a bit more drawn than just created with the engine. Mm. So yeah, 
I just go a bit around and you can have a look, but you can just play it. It is on my itch page and yeah. What did you use to draw? Uh, I used Procreate on my iPad. Hmm. It's my favorite app to draw. It makes so much fun. It's so intuitive and easy. It was a bit hard to get all the stuff from my iPad to my computer because my hard drive doesn't like to work with Windows and with Apple. This is a hmm. very bad combination. I think that's not just your hard drive then. <laughs> Did also, you... is there a story behind your player? Uh, my player is a ghost hunter, a spirit hunter. And when the spirits get away, he is the one who will catch, who will catch them. <laughs> okay. Did you uh, draw with a mouse or did you use an actual pen? To... Uh, I drew like, directly like a pen with tablet. a pen, pen on the iPad. Ah, yeah. okay. it's, it's on the tablet. It's so much easier. I tried drawing with a mouse and it's absolutely horrible. Oh, I also tried it. <laughs> and I just can't draw with a mouse. Mm. It's not my thing. <laughs> I really like the minimalistic style. I think it really adds to this. I think having a background might have been too much. I think having yeah, it I like this really brings for, out the... I looked for the this art. background. It is like a paper. And so that the things are drawn on it, this was the. Hmm. And I was inspired with the minimal color and art style from around the world. So I choose this uh, art style, this inky Japanese art style that inspired me. That was my main inspiration to make a game. <laughs> so yeah. I will stop sharing my screen, I think. <laughs> well, thanks for making the game. Thanks for presenting. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> I, I know I'm always saying the same things, but I'm really happy that we have all these great games. Um, I, I can't wait, wait to actually try them out myself, all of them, uh, as so should you. Uh, please try them out, um, everyone, of course. Uh, and I'm I'm just really stunned that we have so many great games so far, and there's still a plenty to go. So thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then okay, I'm gonna. Then thank you, and I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, next up, Fire Totem Games. Hello. How are you guys? Uh, good. Like, really happy that it turned out so well. Whole jam. Um, can I also share an application? Yes, you should be able screen? to. Ah, yeah, okay. But then I'm going to share this. And there we go. Perfect. So, welcome to our game. Touchy, touchy, feely, feely. Uh, yeah, the, the brainstorming was, was quite funny. And then somebody saw the name into into the round and yeah that's how our game is called now um basic idea behind this game is uh these uh, game shows or or party games where an object is inside the box and you can you have to grab it inside the box feel it and touch it and and try to find out what it is like it's it's a, a, a rubik's cube it's a, a smartphone or whatever and i try to we try to recreate this game in a digital form and came up with, with making it in 2D. So you already see some of the of the forms here that are in the game. Uh, short to the team. So I did most of the work. So project management, game design, programming, UI. And my colleague, Michael, who is also in the call, did the music. So if you have any questions to them about the music, ask him. And yeah, we used some some graphics uh, from, from outside, especially with the with all the, the forms here, we, we got them from uh, cleanpng.com and we are just using it as, as black or white images. So let's start the game and have a look. Um, first question, can you hear the music? Um, I think there was sound. I don't hear Do you anything. hear something no, or no. not? No. no. 
Okay. Um, is there an op oh, sorry. Yeah, is an op also. I misclicked. Yeah. Ah, share system audio. Okay. Now it should work. Can you hear it now? Mm, no. 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 Okay, never mind then. Let's do it without music. But when you play it yourself, you you have the music options, so it's it's more relaxing music. Just to describe it with some um, uh, glocken, I don't know, with some some ringing when you hover over Bells. buttons and stuff. Bells. Bells. Yeah. Um, yeah. And basically, what you do, you select which categories you want to try. You can only select one or all of them. So all of them are, I think, one hundred forty-five objects. So. Yeah, you can really challenge yourself, but let's jump into a few of them and 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 see how the game works. So basically, you have a, a white dot that is following your mouse, and as soon as you touch the object, it gets stuck, and you have to guide the line around the object and try to guess which, in this case, animal it is. Frog. It's a frog. Yeah, it's a frog. And then you just type it here, and it was correct. Uh, so let's try the next one. Soon, it should be soon obvious what it is. Donkey. We have any oh, it's not a donkey. Cow. Cow. <laughs> cow. cow. Yeah, it's a cow. So you can also type in the German no word. So that's that's also working. So if you want to share it with some some people who are not speaking English, they can also enjoy it. So here we have. Yeah, the, the problem is I already know all of them quite well. So, but I think this one is also quite obvious already, or not? Any ideas? Monkey. No, that's not the monkey. <laughs> Trash panda. <laughs> no, it's a lion. A lion? Yes. It's a lion, yes. Yes, uh, and obviously chat was first again. <laughs> oh, chat, yeah, no, I don't see the chat right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, what you can do, you can change the difficulty. Uh, so we played with the, with the medium. So if you play medium, then you see that the line will disappear after some time. So it will, should start after seven seconds to fade away. Yeah, exactly. So, and if this is too difficult for you, you can put it on easy and then the line will stay here all the time. So you can draw the whole outline of the object or animal in this case, and then guess in with all the time you need. And yeah, in this case, it is a llama if you haven't found it out yet. If you don't really don't know it, you can just press the skip button and it will tell you that it is a llama in this case. And if you are really up for a challenge, you can press hard and then yeah, the line will disappear very fast again. So you really have to be fast with drawing and try to remember what, what shape it is. But Any there's no time limit, right? No, there's no time limit. You will get your time at the end, how long you need it, but there is no leaderboard, it's just relaxing. Yeah game, finishing it. And in this case, just to solve it, it was a lizard. And yeah, I would say, let's check out some of the other uh, options. So we can go with logos. So that this should be. And we can now instantly recognize what it is. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing it. No, it's obviously Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. No, <laughs> but let's let's see what happens. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. So in this case, then, yeah. Olympic Games. Does Olympia also work? Because if it uh, doesn't, I would have been stuck from there. Until uh, I think I think Olympia <laughs> is is not is not allowed, but Olympic Games, Olympische Spiele. But okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's Windows. Yeah. That's Windows. Yes. But you need to know the version. <laughs> uh, that flag is Windows 7. <laughs> so one, one, one really cool category is tools because there the outlines are, are very clear and, and light, easy to follow most of the time. Oh, nice. So that's scissors. Always the scissors. And let's do one more here. It's big. It's a knife. <laughs> I think people want to jump into the Pokemon category. Let's show that off real quick. Oh, on, where's the Pokemon? Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, it's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. Oh, that's... It's Pikachu. Glumanda. 
<laughs> it's Pikachu. Pikachu. No, <laughs> oh, you should, should, should have made it a wild card. No, actually, it's, it's Ditto. <laughs> it's always Ditto. Could be Ditto. <laughs> it yeah, could be Ditto, yeah. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto should be the wild card, yeah. I, I, I was thinking about making Ditto the wild card, but Squirtle. I was, yeah. Squirtle. Yeah. Okay. It's a is really it, cool game. It, yeah. uh, first generation Pokemon, so it's it's only first generation, so okay. everybody should be able to solve it. And this one is, is maybe a little bit harder. Wilpix. Yeah, Wilpix. <laughs> I I try I took I only took one Pokemon that are quite obvious to guess. And yeah. Now we have a good one. <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, yeah. Enough okay. spoiling, I would say. The rest you have to find out yourself. Thanks. It's really, really nice. I think it's a great group game. It's yeah. yet another very wholesome game. So love it. <laughs> Thanks. But you know, we, we can, can you can you like uh, do DLC in the future? So maybe we can have some not safe for work content <laughs> in there, like a gnome. Um, and you know their assets. Um, maybe I don't know. <laughs> User generated content. Yeah. How did you make uh, the shapes? Uh, the shapes are are I got them from the uh, um, cleanpng.com website. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it Real seems that the game, they are the game does use. the transformation. Hmm? So the game itself does the does the outline calculation. So you don't have to like do a black and white image or uh the, I, I have a uh i took images that only have the transparent background and in the game i'm um, ah, okay i have a shader that is either displaying it in in, in black and transparent or in white depending on on cool what state so it there is. are many possibilities for adding yeah i can add shapes. a lot of, of of shapes and or even <laughs> let the let the game choose uh random images from the web yeah, that that is not <laughs> that easy because the it is easy to recognize an image with some colors in it, but just the outline. Yeah, uh, yeah, you have to really be careful what images you take. So, yeah. Well, um, thank you. Uh, I'm I'm really sad that I have to hush people out. Uh, we just we still have a big list in front of. So, thanks for sharing. Thanks it's for playing. Fine. And I'd put up the next game in. Okay. So yeah, I mean we have twenty-five submissions. Yeah. So I don't. that's a lot. Yo, what up? I guess <laughs> I will keep it brief. Hey. Uh, because yeah, talking about quality and good and cold some games, ours is not exactly that. So Oh, that's <laughs> fine. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> mm, let's see if this works well enough. Oh, wait, no. I need to share it and give audio permissions, right? Yes. And that should work. Share system audio? That doesn't sound yes. good. Yeah, that, that's it. Really? I'll, I'll try this one. And let me know if you can actually hear it. Yes, we can. Wow. I'm already ahead of the game, I guess. Yeah, here's our great game. So just very quick backstory. We came up with it while drinking Glühwein. And the idea was to make a game that has a start button that doesn't uh, allow you to press it until you opened all loot boxes that you have. Then you go into the loot box menu and you see within the loot boxes there is a good chance that there is more loot boxes. So as long as you have loot boxes you can't actually play the game. This is some kind of special psychological torture but in the end we tuned it down a little if you're lucky you will actually not have more loot boxes within your loot boxes and eventually you can actually play the game and as you can see we were actually really lucky right now and we didn't get any new loot boxes instead we have just items that we can use in the game like burgers energy drinks or computer chips so if you click the items they give you some small hints on what they actually do within the game and then you will be allowed to actually start. So you also have a quick option menu. We even credit Matthias because he wanted to be part of our game because we stole some assets from him, basically. <laughs> 
which you can see here on the right, you might recognize what that was. And there's also a mysterious creature on the left. And those are the very rare things you can get within the loot boxes. So if you play our game a lot, you're a good player, then maybe you can unlock new characters as well. But for now, you just have the default game board. And yeah, it's a very simple, endless runner game. And as you can see on the left, you have four items. The book destroys the nearest enemy. The chip makes you faster. The burger makes you slower. And the energy drink gives you wings for a very short time. And if you crash into an enemy, you die. <laughs> and you get rewarded with more loot boxes. You will have to return to the main menu. And once again, you cannot start the game until you open all the loot boxes. And this is the basic loop of the game. Thanks for playing. Nick Nobles, uh, Nubles, sorry, uh, has one complaint. Um, yeah, I know. I also saw their game and how they stole our idea, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there, so I'm not going to comment, but... <laughs> Funnily enough, it's just about game board and boxes, so the gameplay itself is not too similar. I love the parallels, the, the parallels with uh, AAA games, that the loot box section is, is the best looking thing in the game. <laughs> <laughs> was what we spent all Saturday on, and yeah, the, the rest of the gameplay was developed today, so yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. All right. Then okay. I hope, please play our game. It's not hard to play. And um, yeah, I don't think we have, oh, we have the no humans modifier, but other than that, we didn't really take too much issue with any of them. But yeah, I won't take you up much longer. Have fun, have a nice evening and enjoy the rest of the game. You time. too, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, up next is Mysteriate Gamebird Boxes. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? Well, we're good. <laughs> we see lots okay. of games. We can comment. <laughs> uh, so we will start with a short presentation video pitch that we um, re uh, prepare. And then we will jump to the gameplay. And I will be the presenter. And my friend Alin will... Um, play the game and show it to you, and I will just talk over it. Okay, I don't see a share screen yet. Okay. Or maybe I can share my screen, okay. Um, I don't know, Olin, can you play the video or should I play it? Oh, I can play it, one second. Okay, okay, perfect, thank you. So I will start uh, some intro about our game. Our game is um, a 2D puzzle. Uh, our logo and character is more beautiful than the Tom designed. <laughs> uh, it's a game bird, actually. And um, we call our game a mysterious uh, game bird boxes. Um, the game is uh, pretty easy um, with simple uh, mechanics. It's um, okay. This is the video. Is it with the sound? I hope it will be with. No, it, the sound is. It's not working. No. Oh, one second. No. This is my first time using this application, so I don't know <laughs> exactly how to share sound. Can anyone tell me how to do it? Uh, you have to toggle it when you share it. So if you click on yeah. share. Um, there's a toggle for sound. Yeah, there is option. Also, wasn't there a problem with Firefox and sound? Yes. You I have to have I think he uses Firefox. No, I use Opera. Opera. It's yeah, oh, okay. it's, it, it, it can be, it, it, it must be a Chrome-based browser. Chrome. Sorry about that. I don't have a Chrome-based browser installed. What about Edge? You can share me the link real quick, then I can share. Yeah, okay. Sure. Guys, isn't isn't Edge a Chrome-based browser now? I think it is. I haven't tried it with Edge. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. Chrome-based? Okay. 
Yeah, they they turned they turned on them. So you know. Uh, let's go here. And then shit. Mm, can you tell me if it's working? Game bird was born in a castle of the game kingdom. He was. Yes. Do you have sound? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, great. As a kind of game world with extraordinary power to support game developers, producers, artists, musicians, and even more. The knowledge of building games and skills are found in his genes. Now he's grown up and ready to spread all gaming wisdom across the world. Enemies are everywhere though, and they're trying to steal his knowledge to lead the gaming board themselves. So they secretly start the plan to get him down and lose his power. One night, they sent him to the world of mysterious loot boxes to distract him and take his knowledge. Gamer's mission started that night, to find the mysterious box to save his kingdom. Thank you. So basically, this was our <laughs> demo we prepared for the pitch. Um, and we are in four members in our team. Um, um, actually, uh, I, I will just uh, introduce our uh, members while uh, Olin is playing the game. Uh, Mutas producer, level design. Uh, I did the story and the narrative and also the sound effects and uh, background sound. Then uh, Alin uh, is the programmer and the game designer. Nick is uh, arts, animation, and level design. I have to also thank you from my friend, which has helped me with the animation, um, Solar. Um, the game is uh, basically with uh, easy mechanics, uh, left, right, and jump. So it's with um, uh, A, D, and jump, basically, with the space is working. Uh, the objective of the game is simple. You have to just uh, reach to the main, uh, the other uh, part of the game. Uh, while you have some abstract during the game, you have um, you have some uh, boxes. These boxes are doing something uh, during the game. So one of them is like a teleports. One of them is like a movement. Uh, the gray one is like a teleport. And then uh, some of them, they are for moving uh, the yellow one that will open the gates for you. Uh, then we have the red one. If you stand on the uh, red one, it will uh, explode. So it's like a, a bomb. You have to be careful not just to stay there. Uh, and one of them is for, for the jump. So the player basically uh, have to reach to the final level from A to Z uh, with some of the um, abstract here. And, um, and uh, yeah, uh, basically um, the game is... Uh, uh, we try to make some boxes of the question marks and the player doesn't know what uh, what are they doing. But when just try them with different colors, they will just figure it out. Okay, one of them is explosion or uh, jumping or this one. And the gameplay is um, uh, quickly. Um, this is almost uh, to the end, I hope. Uh, and then what I wrote here, we use uh, several applications during the game. Um, basically, we made the, uh, made the game with the Unity. We use some Adobe application, Photoshop, to design the uh, characters. And this is at the end that the player is going to um, be... Someone uh, said to me that the, you cannot hear the audio, right? No, nope, oh, sorry. Yes. It's uh, still... Yeah, the, the, the main... Thing was that at the end you get recrawled. Yeah. We put a nice song also <laughs> there. It's not playing, but yeah. Yeah, but it's unfortunately fun. that we don't have sound, you cannot hear it. Well, we can well, always hear it ourselves when we play it. Yes. Yeah. So, so everybody has to find out sound. To play. I must say I love the art style for the game bird. Really nice animation and expression. <laughs> Okay. So I um, hope you enjoy it. Please try our game. If you have any question, please let me know. Thank you for, uh, very much for the opportunity. 
Yeah, well, it's... always. It's it's our pleasure to host it. Yeah. So, do you have fulfilled any of the diversifiers? Uh, sorry? Um, uh, do you have uh, fulfilled any of the diversifiers or have you just gone for the main topic? Uh, basically, uh, we just um, try to uh, do the prototype at the beginning, write some uh, we wanted to add some enemies at the beginning, but then we changed to the some uh, boxes to put uh, some elements behind it to what each boxes will do with the player. So, yeah. Okay. 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 Thanks. Well, um, then thanks for the game. Looking forward to playing it. And... Don't forget to also play the other games. Yes, sure. um, it's right now. I'm I'm waiting for responses, so I messaged the next two teams already. Um, just nobody is in here yet. So, Vede, do you know who's? Oh, okay. Never mind. There we okay. we Bye have guys. one team. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Hello. Oh yeah, man. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay. Is um, since uh, there was a delay now, um, are Adelina and Dihayat with you? One of them? Can you uh, hear me? Hi. Yes. Okay. I, I, are you presenting alone or is there someone else presenting with you? The ping is too damn high. Now it's just Adelina and me. Um, Hi. Uh, did Did you say anything to us? Um, it's we can see you just fine, but it didn't really get an answer. No, we can hear you. Can you can yeah, you hear me? You. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. We can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so for now it's just Adelina and me. I don't know if she okay. joined yet. Yes, she joined. That's why I asked. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I, I messaged Sorry. two teams. Um, because uh, it, I didn't get uh, responses. Uh, just to clarify, um, that's why I was confused who is who, and wanted to pull in the proper team. But okay, let's go. Okay, uh, Adelina, would you like to say something first? You mentioned um, no, no. Right now, I'm not at home, so my connection only allows me to listen. So okay. maybe at the end, I will say some few words. <laughs> okay, then I'll present. I'm sorry for these technical difficulties. Uh, so for now, we just uh, have presentation because our game um, it's finished, but it's a bit uh, janky. So uh, I'll just share the screen if that's all right. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, Cenk is the champ spirit. But exactly. I want to say you can present a Cenki game. That's perfectly fine. Okay. That's uh, what we are here for. Okay, so this is our presentation. It's called Worst Christmas Ever. <laughs> Yay. So, <laughs> with the brainstorming, so at the beginning, uh, we tried to stay with the minimal scope of the game and any new ideas we wanted to implement, we kind of double-checked if it matches the game jam. And the story we came up with is that you, as a player, uh, is a kid upon the Christmas, and then Santa Claus knocks on your door with like the most perfect uh, Christmas present ever, but he's drunk and gets away with the present, and now you have to catch him, right? Um, and the premises of the gameplay is that uh, he drops all kinds of gifts while running away from you. And we'll get into that a bit on the later slides. So Philip, uh, who is not present with us here, he uh, made 3D models, right? And the uh, funny story, so not, not the story, but development of these boxes, how they became so um, full of colors and icons is that uh, we discussed uh, what color should represent what. So if you see the yellow box, it has a little rocket. With collecting three 
uh, golden or yellow boxes, you collect three parts of the rocket launcher. <laughs> and then you should get to the level two where you can shoot at Santa. Um, with red boxes, you need to avoid them because those explode on impact and you lose health points. And then the green ones, of course, you collect HP and the blue ones are the shield. And now when you get to that level two, um, technically speaking, you would fight Santa. And then when you kill him, you get your perfect present, right? So this is uh, on the bottom right. That is the uh, rocket launcher that would shoot then presents back at Santa. And we also thought about implementing that he fights us back with bottles later on. And the story with development, how we got uh, this very crazy looking uh, boxes is because one of our team members uh, said uh, that we should watch out of um, people having maybe some visual uh, disability, uh, like color blindness, because the yellow and red with value of the color look very similar. So it would be very hard to differ differentiate between them when they fly. So we added uh, like a different type of bow. So it's not just red and yellow combination. And again, with the icons. Now, Fahad. Uh, he was our uh, main programmer who programmed the game. Um, and here you can see, again, um, how we kind of made this. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so you I just really, run away. I really uh, hate to interrupt you, but, you know, normally we have a five-minute limit, and it uh -huh. doesn't seem like you're going to be able to play the game if you go okay, through the then slides I'll just, at that time. I'll just skip the code. Uh, so, okay, uh, this is how our game looks like. And it's uh, functional, just the basics. You run after Santa and uh, boxes work too, but they're not implemented as 3D boxes for now. And this is what Adelina made. She made the Santa and uh, the main guy, as well as the background and the particle effect. Uh, and this is our planning stage as well. Uh, my part was uh, to make and to write everything to have a game design document and, and I was helping other uh, team members with um, GitHub, Unity and coding. Um, so that was kind of my part, like support, <laughs> technical and moral support. And these are some takeaways from the game. And again, um, we haven't exported the game. Um, so it just works inside the unity so yeah i don't want to take uh, more time <laughs> and uh, that's uh, it uh, how do i okay ah okay uh sorry we we thought that you'd be sharing the the gameplay at the end that's why we ushered you along uh, um, okay <laughs> uh yes in order we to be able to see the, the game <laughs> yeah we just have it inside the unity but we had problems with uh you know, GitHub and then sharing the folders and files. And it was um, a whole mess of it. That happens. That's that's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That so only a, one of our team members have the game on their computer, you, but it's works not in their here. machine. You can, you can update the HIO page later. Oh, OK. That, okay, that's, okay, that's okay. Yep, we'll that's definitely really, do that. <laughs> as long as you have the game page there, um, you can update it's registered, the so I, I can see it in the submissions. So exactly yeah. everything okay. fine. Oh, okay. That's okay. not a thank problem. <laughs> okay, thank you for listening. Okay, but still, it honestly, I find it awesome that even though you're not presenting the game, then that you're still going out and saying like, "This is what we, what we, this is our idea. This is what we make." So thanks for that. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Okay, but then I'm gonna switch to the next group. Hello. You're I'm muted. If yeah, yeah. If you're trying to speak. Hello. Maybe, yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. Now it yes. works. I can't hear anything from here. Oh, you're muted. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay, that's good. Okay. Hi. So, what what was our game? I don't know. Uh, okay, you were supposed to tell us. Not I, I way, forgot right? the name. The stolen gift. The stolen gift. Yes, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me just open the stream to the stolen gift. Share screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so should I just share the game? Where is it? 
Yeah, OK. OK, so can everyone see the game? Not yet, but mm -hmm. in a no. second. Yeah, uh, there we go. It's good. OK. So yeah, our game, The Stolen Gift, is about this beautiful lady, this beautiful pixel lady, who uh, is given uh, a bunch of gifts. The first gift is, uh, is the, this uh, jar that can be used to teleport. So there's no, there's no jumping in this game. You can only teleport with the jar. So you press right click to, to throw the jar and stays to teleport to the jar. And the other gift is the normal jar that just breaks things. So you break things and you teleport. Yeah, so we have to kill this guy as well. And there's also a third gift. Uh, I guess it's, it's near. Yeah, that's the third gift. Oh no, it's stolen. Oh well. Well, that's the stolen gift. So that's what the game is about. And it's just a 2D platformer about how, uh, you know, you want to get your gift back because somebody stole it. And there is a story, but I don't want to spoil it. So I'm just not going to talk about it. But there's a story. So it's very nice. It's, very, it's a very nice story. So please play it and experience the story. So I, I programmed the game. Uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know, programming is hard, honestly. So yeah, I programmed uh, the game and my uh, teammates, uh, Rustam and Samuela, they made the art. Well, and I, I guess 90% of the art. Uh, Rustam's friend also made the background because we didn't have time. But uh, generally, uh, Samuela made the, our beautiful character uh, and uh, all the animations. Uh, yeah, and I think it's his first time doing pixel art. I think it's actually his first time doing any type of art. Yeah. So uh, I think it turned out really well. Like it, everything is actually very beautiful. So yeah, I think I broke the game by not not being able to teleport. But we can die, so that's fine. <laughs> nice animation. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the animations are very nice. Like yeah. So yeah, we this is our game, and we can also show. Uh, our game design document, so to speak. It's not really a game design document, but it's like as close as we got to it. This is it. This is our, can you see it? We can't see it. Okay. Now we can. Now, now. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. So yeah, this is our game design document. We, we proved some of it, like we, uh, because obviously we couldn't fit enough. So we kept the erasing and writing, erasing, writing, erasing, writing. But generally, yeah, we're, because we're on the we're on site, so we had the privilege of working on a whiteboard, and yeah, you can see here everything in the game, and you can see here that there are two parts to the game, but we didn't do the second part because um, time and game jam. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for our game. Okay. I have never heard about a teleporting jar before that you throw on the ground and then teleport to it. Oh, it's a nice mechanic. <laughs> Don't you have that at home? Yeah, of course. I we wish. Do. I wish. And I'm off to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. We also have a jar for breaking things, obviously. Mm. Okay, cool. Then um, there's two games left. Um, at least on 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 my list. So if I, oh, but to, and the two games will be presented by us. Um, so if okay. there's anyone else who j still wants to present, please just give me a quick PM on Discord. It can be very well that I just forgot to write you down or anything. So if that's the case, write me a, a DM. Um, otherwise, um, I think. Um, I I have another question about the game that we just yeah. had. Uh, yeah, please. Is, was uh, the uh, order of which you threw the, the jars random, or could you choose uh, which jar to throw? Oh, no. They're, they're two separate jars. So you use left click to throw a normal jar, and you use oh, right okay. click to okay. throw a teleporting jar. And you only have one teleporting jar. And uh, why, why, did, why did you have to kill yourself? Uh, why couldn't you uh, teleport up again to the, to the platform? Oh, no, that's just a bug. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah, I just broke the game. Normal. You know? that's, that's also something he asks himself. You know, he can't yeah, exactly. ask these questions. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's just a term intervening. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. Cool Thank game. you. Thank Everyone you. play our Thanks game. The story is nice. Thanks. <laughs> we do. We do. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Um, hello, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hello. It's, it seems hello. we're about to present our game. Huh? So maybe, maybe you first share. off, we don't we don't have any the game design document. <laughs> we don't do this stuff around here. <laughs> we just we just do whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to share my screen. The, the, so the, the problem here is that we would honestly need two screens because it's a multiplayer game. Yes, um, it's the but, but maybe under you should you share what your yours as well. Um, and I switch. Our, our game is creatively titled uh, "What's in the Box," and just just as a quick this uh, description of the game, it's a multiplayer game that you play entirely in your browser, and you uh, you simply enter your username here and and create a new lobby. Oh, you. you Nice that now now Andy's sharing. Can you can you show my 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 one again? Thanks, thanks. So now Andy can connect so to my lobby. Eight B two two eight. And I guess um, theoretically any of you could could, but please don't. <laughs> you can load <laughs> test it. You can load test it later. Okay. And <laughs> and the and the gist of the game is, um, I'm gonna pack some some emojis in some boxes. Yeah. Uh, seal those those boxes and then uh i get another set of emojis to put on the boxes so basically i put them over the boxes so so i try to communicate to andy what what's in the box but i get a limited set of emojis so and i guess i'm really bad at explaining this but you you you'll see it in a second and we do that in turns you know and, and uh points get distributed if people get the, oh damn it okay <laughs> you, you, you get you get to play with us we cannot kick players as of now. No, that, that, that doesn't <laughs> That's fine. So let's start. Let's just start. So I'm going to pack my boxes. So I don't know what Twitch chat wants. I guess Twitch chat wants. I will yeah. try to not look. Uh, oh, yeah, please don't screen. look at my screen because otherwise <laughs> it doesn't work. But we'll try to, to do those three. And now I have, I have like those boxes and I'm going to try to see what fits best. Oh, I see that. The, so the basically, he's coming. describing the context of the boxes with oh. other emojis, and they're randomized. So yeah, they're randomized. Uh, you oh, can describe sorry. it with anything. Could be story. Could be the same shape, the same color. Maybe the same emoji, but a different style. This looks fantasy esque. I'm really shit. At I should have taken this. But there's no nothing. Ah, I think it's somewhat related. The middle one. And maybe, even 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 that one, yeah, the middle one. Do you have any? Oh, <laughs> I no. would have taken that one for the Obviously. bottom one. No, 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 no. That, that's that, that's because you get hurt doing whatever. <laughs> but the other one can kill. Uh, <laughs> yes, this one, this one, this one for the middle. What? This yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. I I, I just ship it. You know, I, I, you don't need to fill those boxes. And now we have sixty seconds for for Andy to to actually guess my box. I have and no idea. Is, <laughs> and he's gonna try to to match match those. Andy, come on, it's easy. It's and so maybe easy. the bee goes to the flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, ju I just remembered. Uh, I, don't I, know. I think it would be nice if the icons would be shown uh, while describing the boxes, because if you describe yes. another, I can't. Nope. Yeah. yeah, that's the twist. So that makes it harder. You can actually yeah. describe another box without knowing it. No, but you should okay. actually get. I, I agree. You should. You should get the. Uh... Andy, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so <laughs> nobody got it right except except Andy got one right. You know, it's uh... okay. Yeah, then I but always I, start I, I just, the next just, just cheat the RNG, I guess. It's totally not my fault. I'm gonna look away, Andy. I'm sorry. No. So. Um... Gabe says party game. Yeah, that was exactly the idea. So it's uh, it's a web-hosted game that you can very quickly access and just 
play a few rounds and that's it. Uh, and it's very accessible, I think, because there, there's no difficulty to it in terms of playing. Well, maybe we haven't tried it to like haven't tried it on a mobile phone. I don't know how the dragging works, <laughs> if the dragging even works. But you could try. How many different icons do you have? All of them. All of All them. Of them. Oh. Oh. So that, that's going to be super easy. See, see, it... Andy, I, I'm going to make it obvious. You know, obviously this is a tr means of transportation. I have no fucking clue now. <laughs> oh, li living room. That's that's things you do in the living room and. You, you kill your wife, right? I have no idea. No, it's a, a three out of three, guaranteed. Yes. Awesome. So that's all. That's basically the game, and uh, don't worry. In on itch, you will only find the link because it's actually hosted, um, and since it's server. Um, server client um, separated, uh, it's just easier if you just host it somewhere else uh, because itch is not super easy to work with directly then. No, they they require HTTPS and, and, and we have no fucking clue. <laughs> That's what I said in nice terms, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, obviously you could make it work, but we didn't. So there's a link there and- Maybe someday. But yeah. Um, the, the link is to the the link to the working is uh, to the working game is on itch.io on the game page. Okay, cool. And then we have one more game to present, which um, we're also gonna present. I think we have two. You forgot me. <laughs> you didn't. I have also a game. To <laughs> then go ahead. Then please go present your game. But you're still showing my screen, right? Yeah. I am not. <laughs> so and I'm gonna set up the, the last game. Well actually Veda, could you send up uh climbing it because we already established I suck at it. Okay. Should I should I play it again? And Martin, yeah, tell us about the game. Like... I'm actually super excited because I had no idea you were actually working on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do one. Um, and it's actually called the Bustle Box. Um, you saw the first part of the tutor tutorial right here because I was too slow. Um, you're prompted to move your mouse to the left or right in order to turn around the Bustle Box. And, and now you see a prompt to click here which means you're going to zoom into that puzzle and now you can start working on that puzzle. But um, just this little tutorial, you can either drag and drop or use the mouse wheel while hovering over um, to turn the, the dice. And because I have no clue for that puzzle, I'm going to quit out with right click. Um, now searching around the box, I see some other stuff, some other puzzles. And another prompt, because I have two types of puzzles implemented for the box. I wanted to implement the sliding puzzle, but time constraints, as everybody has. And yeah, the other type of puzzle is a button puzzle. I can go in here and click on one of the tiles, and then the tile lights up. I can click multiple times on a tile, and they change color. And there is obviously a puzzle to um match some stuff in that puzzle and also right click to get out of the puzzle and now it's uh up to the player to figure out um what is the combination of the lock and what are the button puzzles supposed to look like in the end and that's basically the game uh the only thing is there are only uh the, the last layer is just empty because yeah time constraints <laughs> but um, yeah that's basically the puzzle game so have fun trying to figure out uh, what the puzzles mean how you play the puzzles um i only going to say one more thing and that is at the button puzzles if you have oh <laughs> oops 
if you have any kind of combination in the puzzle, just hit one of the red dots and it's going to reset the puzzle. So because the start of the puzzle is part of the hint how to solve the puzzles. Um, I have a question and also chat has that question. Have you been inspired by keep talking and nobody explodes? I was about to ask that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that game, but actually no. Uh, the real game that was inspiring me, I'm just missing the name right now. Uh, I think the room is it's it's called the room. I think. It's I a, it's a, one. yeah, it, it's kind of the same game. So yeah, quick hide the evidence how to solve the puzzle and the bug. <laughs> okay, but but chat agrees it's called the room. So yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> There's. And Nothing more and nothing less. It's just a box in a room. Does it open? It opens to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sadly, you can't open it fully because, as I said, I didn't have time for the last puzzle oh, to implement. Fine. So, what you going to do? <laughs> I, I I doubt anybody anyone is going to get to the last stage. So. <laughs> Challenge okay. thrown, I would say. Well, what? <laughs> that's from my side. Yeah. Well, thanks for presenting it. Um, it for something that you just worked on on the side. Apparently, it's it's cool. I mean, you've been doing the help desk as well, so <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much to do this time. Honestly, la la last time was more work in the in the uh, help desk, so. And Vida, I'm gonna stream now your screen again, so just that uh, you know, uh, because Thanks. there's one more game that we want to present. It's Climbing It, um, and it's made by, oh, you clicked it away, okay. Oh, sorry. We could surely figure it out in the credit screen. Um, okay, there's... Do you see that if I make it full screen or yes. does it Yes, yeah, we see. No, it, it works. It okay. stretches a little bit, but it's yeah, because it it's a widescreen monitor. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We we can, okay, we can see it. Let's go. Um, I'm just gonna go quickly cl climb it. do this. Do you read read the each page while I? Oh, <laughs> they 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 read read on the assets. Okay, so we so we I I read the dialogue already, but but I'm I'm here for the gameplay. <laughs> You are, but maybe, maybe chat wants to read. Yeah, maybe chat should play the game then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because exactly. I know already. Oh shit! Uh, but but as you probably assume, I you know what I just did. I tried to double jump because you know, spoiler alert. There's a double jump, but it's Metroidvania like it's hidden after uh, I progress a certain amount. Those piranha plants are very annoying. I just rip. I think I won't play it in full screen. It doesn't uh, really benefit the frames. Uh, Files, uh, what did we say about me being a lot better in this game? You're still a lot better than I would be. Um, <laughs> so there's a couple of things that um, in chat, um, there's uh, one of the developers adding commentary. Um, Please read. The, the most important part is just you have to imagine your uh, red panda while playing. Do you do that right now? I, I'm a very, very frustrated red panda that just barely missed that platform I was supposed to land on. <laughs> Uh, but that's the wrong um, also they said that um, the level didn't uh, wasn't meant to create a rage uh, to be a rage game oh, but it, it wasn't just meant happened. to be oh, it <laughs> just, yeah. so uh, also you have been better at playing this so for, for those who didn't tune in uh, we played this in yesterday I think 
in the evening or today in the morning today on the stream? Morning. Yeah. yeah, perfect. What about it, huh? <laughs> I got the double jump. So ah, I was hey. this morning. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I let re uh, let chat read. I think the 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 boxes are very cute. The paper style. Double jump with me. Let's double jump with him. I really want to know if there is a, a... oh no <laughs> saved. Oh wow, that was hard. So really... he's a panda eating plants or what? No, I oh. think they're just getting rid of the panda, so you will be thrown somewhere. <laughs> no, no. No, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a rage game. No, it's not At a rage game. At this moment, he knew. <laughs> uh, if you hear something smash, it's my cats, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you have. I think the game is pretty easy. Yeah, Just yeah. saying. You, pl you played it through in one go, right? Well, y you're not as far as Vader, so... You're not allowed to, to trash talk him just yet. Just yet. Hey, okay. how, how are I'm you still get... sharing my screen? Now you can. <laughs> what, uh, I should have read that. Because now I don't mean? know what to do. <laughs> what do the flags mean? Um, I guess they're the just checkpoints. Mean? Um, I don't, I don't think it's so. click to dash. Martin. Ah, click to dash. Okay, perfect. Thanks. How am I supposed to go over to the left now? You're not. You're simply not. You're going to the right. It's a lie. Really? You can go to the left once you have the dash. Yeah, but, but, oh, it's just outside of my peripheral vision. <laughs> I was, I was juked. Truly, such swift speed should never be ignored. I'm not. I'm a red dot, obviously. Click in the air. So I need my mouse now. Oh damn it! But, so oh the direction of the mouse movement actually matters. Close to the end. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Wait, does the, does the mouse movement actually matter? Like where my mouse is? I don't think so. It's just clicking. No, it's it's click, according to chat. Okay. It's totally easy to control. I tell you that. It's. <laughs> I think I have to dash earlier. Very rhythmic game, though. Something happened. Oh, I didn't even fucking know what I did there, but it worked. Do we see me finish or will miss? Oh, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> I think but I, 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 I think that's... it off stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you will. Maybe, um, I will. Maybe I will not. Well, I just fell all the way back to the start. Oh, fight. I did something amazing and you, you didn't stream it. No, it didn't happen. Well, um, just in general, there's there appears to be a couple of more games actually on itch.io who we didn't present and who also didn't say that we should present them. Um, we're not going to go through them now, but feel free to check them out. Um, most of them seem to be uh, game jam games that are actually from this game jam. Yep. 
because sometimes people just add random games um, to the game jam so they get exposure. We try to le delete them. Um, there was one yesterday um, that was published 30 days ago. So, uh, but there's a couple of new ones in there who also fit the theme. So check them out as well. Um, obviously, they're uh, absolutely eligible. Um, and there's one more thing. Okay, Martin is back. I hit Welcome the wrong back. button. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to end my um, my my. Uh, screen sharing and uh, yeah, I hit the red X on the directly to the right. Well, <laughs> um, oops. So to, there's a couple of things that I still want to say uh, wrapping this game jam up. Um, first of all, thanks to all participants. Um, it's been a great pleasure to host you, and there's so so many great games on uh, the itch.io page. Um, yeah, awesome. Simply awesome. I can't um, stop playing, climbing it. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, also, as I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, thanks to the organization team. Um, it's been growing a lot. Um, you haven't seen all people on stream. Um, there's a lot of people behind it. Uh, thank you to all who helped. Um, that was really great. Um, the next thing, there's a small surprise still. Um, there will be uh, an additional award this Game Jam. So we thought about that after the Game Jam, there's not enough time to grade the games. And that sometimes leads to rush reviews um, or people not checking out the games fully. So what we decided upon is that after a certain while, um, and I honestly don't know the timeline, and the person responsible sadly isn't here. So um, after a certain while, uh, we will go through the list of all comments uh, and select whether or not they're positive or constructive, not positive, sorry, constructive feedback uh, or not. And all of the constructive ones will get thrown into a pool and we will randomly draw out of them. And you guys can get a small surprise if only picking it up, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, we can't ship it. But um, if we draw your comment um, and you are in the area, you can then pick up a small surprise, a little gift from us, basically. Consider it a Christmas gift. Um, for actually giving out proper reviews and giving constructive feedback to the games. Um, that is our small little surprise that we have. Um, I'll post the exact details in Discord uh, as soon as I have them. I'm terribly sorry I can't give them to you right now. Um, and then there's one more thing. Why not shipping it? Because it costs money. That's the... The, the plain and simple answer. Um, and yeah. If, if you pay for shipping, I'm willing to ship it. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. We, we can do that if you want to have it uh, and you pay for shipping. Uh, absolutely no problem. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Budget for shipping, nice. If, yeah. Sorry, if anyone organizes the, the, the payment for shipping, that's fine. No, it's just uh, we have a couple of um, smaller items, but they need to be in a parcel still, and uh, that, in my experience, can get quite expensive. So, but yeah, um, that's that. There's one more thing left to do for me, um, and that is saying thank you to all our sponsors. Um, I know. Looks Thanks, Dana Trace, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, they were sponsoring these great hoodies um they were sponsoring the glue wine on friday so um thanks a lot uh and we're hoping that we will have them on board for the next game jams hopefully then back in person um with sponsored food hopefully um so yeah that's that's it basically from me um 
Yeah, I hope you all had a great time. Don't, don't forget to vote on the games and don't be discouraged to leave a leave a thoughtful comment, cons constructive criticism even after the the results are already in. You know, it's just a small way of honoring the the coolest or most creative or most beautiful games of the game jam. But we're happy for each and every one of your uh, entries here. And also, yes. we're we are very very thankful for your comments and criticism or at least i think i speak in the name of every creator here if if i say that also um organizational wise um if you have comments criticism whatever feel free to post it on discord um we are always looking for how we can imp improve um so that's also a thing because it will happen again we will make another game jam that's that's safe Normally we, close. <laughs> Normally we close with the words uh, after the game jam is before the game jam. <laughs> That's true. And That's so far true. it's held true. So yes. thank you all for tuning in. Um, play the games, rate the games, and see you the next game jam. Bye. 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 Take care.